Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about, talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is my partner is not connecting with me emotionally. So this is something that you can be exposed to. It's either coming from yourself where you are disconnecting from your partner. You don't know really how to relate and how to connect emotionally or it's something that, the, that your partner is doing to you. In other terms, he's um, or she is uh, withdrawing, not really connecting, not being uh, really present, falling a little bit out of love, out of the, the relationship. So when uh, you have been together for a while, especially after the romantic period, which is three months to six months, maybe sometimes a little bit longer, you are going to get used a little bit to each other's presence. And uh, what it takes to really stay connected energetically, emotionally, it's really setting up practices or ways of communicating and ways of relating to each other that are really going to work on the long term. So the, the number one tip is to be really present when you are with each other. What does that mean? It means that you don't get distracted by technology. You are, don't, you, you are not running around taking care of other chores and other things that might be bothering you. You stay present with your partner. So when uh, your partner is sharing or you are sharing, you want to be in each other's presence and really enter into resonance. That's the number one tip. The second tip that is really important is practice what I would call conscious touch. It is the way you are engaging with touch, with sensual intimacy, needs to be a conscious practice again. For instance, if your partner comes back from work and he or she is exhausted, really tired, offering conscious touch and allowing your partner to relax and really connect energetically with each other is going to be extremely beneficial to create energetic resonance with each other. So. Another, another aspect of creating the emotional resonance and the emotional connection is to create really safety within your relationship. One of the things that tends to happen in a couple in relationships is if you fight with each other, for instance, you might challenge you challenge your partner. You might get triggered by something that he or she did and then you go and attack them verbally. You complain, you are whining, you might be you know unhappy and uh, sharing that with uh, with them. So what is going to to happen in your partner when you are projecting negative emotions on them, they are going to emotionally or energetically shut down. Okay, it might be to a certain percentage, it might, be, it might not necessarily be completely shutting down, but they feel like they have to enter into defensive mode. So what I'm saying here right now is that you must create a very safe and container for your relationship so that when your partner opens up, he, can, he or she can really relax in your presence. So if at any point you enter into a fight mode, then it's very important to come back together within this safe space. If you did something that is, um, I would say, disrespectful to your partner, then let them know that this is not a behavior that you want to repeat over and over again in the future. You know, sometimes you might get over emotional over something. You can go to them and say, look, yesterday I talked to you in a way that was really harsh and I can feel right now that we are, you know, taking distance from each other and I don't like that. I want to be connected with you. I want to apologize for the way I talked to you and I want to tell you that next time something like that happens, I will find ways of communicating with you that are more respectful, more grounded, more grounded and more present. I don't want us to fight, I want us to feel really connected. I love you, you are the man of my life or the woman of my life and uh, I want to stay really connected and respectful for each other. So you will notice that the moment you start creating these spaces then eventually you relax and uh, you enter into resonance. Another tip that I already gave you before is definitely go on romantic dates. If you are trapped dealing with the practicalities of life, day after day, work, blah, 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 you know, getting to uh, meetings, the weekend comes and you have a whole schedule of um, parties and events and things you, can, you have to attend, then eventually you lose connection with each other. And uh, so it's very important to find ways of 